Let's take a look at how to get started really quickly using Fast API. Inside of Replit, I'll create a new REPL via Python REPL, and I'll call it Fast API 001. Create that. And after it's booted, I'll go over here to the Packages pane, and the first thing that I'll do is I will search for the package Fast API and install that. Next, I will look for the Uvicorn package, and this is going to be a server that I'll use to run the application from the command line. Now I can go back over to my files here in main.py and begin to write the application. So the first thing I'll do is I'll import the Fast API, uh, the Fast API class from Fast API module. I'll create an instance of Fast API, which will be the application itself. And this will be an ASGI application as opposed to a WSGI application. The A is for asynchronous. So uh, Fast API has async built in. And I can use this get decorator to say that whatever function is decorated will be invoked when a get request comes into the root of the application said before, async is built in, and then I can return some JSON, which we converted from a Python dictionary. And so I'll just say message, greetings. That's all I need for the code. Now I need to go over here to the shell, and I can run uvicorn. Then it's going to be in a module named main. The application is going to be in a module named main, and it's going to be named app. Double dash reload will watch for changes and automatically restart the application. Then Repolit is going to require this to run, to listen rather, on all addresses and on port 5000. This web view will come up and you'll see that uh, the text or the JSON string is returned, but if I copy it, and put it in a new browser tab. We'll see this again, but I can also here, I can get to this. So this docs path will also take me to the uh, auto-generated documentation for the API. And I can actually try the, I can actually execute the, um, the different routes from this user interface. 